Welcome to Appetite for Cooking. Add savory spices such as scotch bonnet pepper, thyme, and pimento to a wonderful cut of beef. Yes, the main dish today is thyme roasted beef. On today's episode, we will show you how to prepare this dish. Let's get started. So we're going to start out by first making the marinade and the ingredients will be for that one chopped shallot, three scallion stalks or green onions, Then three tablespoons of minced garlic. Next, we will add one teaspoon of crushed pimento, ground pimento. We will also add chopped thyme, so that would be thyme leaves, and that's two tablespoons of thyme leaves. Next, we will add a half a cup of water. Then one fourth cup of vegetable oil. And we're going to blend that for about 30 seconds. So let's get this started and mix and blend the marinade. Okay, that looks good. After mixing the marinade up, we will add it to a Ziploc bag, which you've seen here. And we have added the two pounds of beef round and we will, we have placed this to marinate. It's been marinated for about an hour. So now this is ready for it to be cooked up on the stove. <laughs> I need to add my oil. So you need to add in two tablespoons of vegetable oil in your skillet and then you need to also add in some margarine so we're going to add in also two tablespoons of margarine Now let's add the beef. So our goal is to have the beef brown, lightly brown on both sides, turning the meat about every 10 minutes. Leaving this in for an hour is actually really good because the marinade really gets absorbed into the meat. You can actually smell the thyme that has been engulfed in the meat. So that's really good. So it's, it looks like the marinade took very well. Marinade smells so good. <laughs> so 
So while this is searing up, keep in mind that we're also going to put this in the oven. So right now the oven has been uh, preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And what we're going to do is put this in the oven in a baking pan and have that um, roast up for about an hour or so. All right, let's get this in the oven. Looking good on both sides. So let's prep this to get it into the oven. So what we're going to add to this pan is a third cup of the marinade. Plus one cup of water. Okay. And as I said, this is going to be roasted in the oven for about an hour. And we're going to continue to turn it several times in the oven to make sure that all sides are cooked. Okay, we now have the roast in the oven. So we're going to have this roast for about an hour and we will check back to make sure that it is properly cooked. Okay, it looks like this is ready. So we're now going to place it back on the stove and finish it up. We're adding now the remaining drippings from the roasting pan. We're also now going to add the, what remained from our marinade. We're going to have this saute for about a minute. Moving the meat around to make sure everything gets absorbed into our meat. This roast looks really good. Now let's thicken up this gravy. So we're going to add one fourth cup of water. And then we're going to also add a teaspoon of cornstarch. Let's mix this around a bit. deglaze this pan so we can get all that lovely dripping. And we will just let this thicken up a bit. I'll increase the heat just a tad. We want to make sure that sauce is still sticking to the spoon a bit and it looks like it's getting there. It's almost done. Perfect. So we will plate this up, show you how it looks, tempt you, and 
We will be right back. Okay, there you have it. Our nice beef roast. And we're going to now pour some gravy on that. Wonderful. Woo! <laughs> now, doesn't that look tempting? Be honest. I know you want to dive in. And you can also have this meal. Try this yourself. It's a wonderful dish. You, you taste all of the marinade in the meat and oh gosh, it's so good. It's so very good. The meat is nice and tender. It's a very easy dish as you saw what I did. It didn't take a lot of effort as far as a lot of ingredients to create this wonderful dish. Try this at home. Thank you again for joining us on another episode of Appetite for Cooking and we will see you on the next one.